Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome back to Train Fever. Um, I played a little bit on my own, but only a little bit. And uh, now I finally have the locomotive I wanted to have all the time, so now I am able uh, to build new lines and to uh, replace uh, old trains. See, it's marked red already because... Uh, yeah, they are getting very old and very expensive to maintain. So I'm going to replace them uh, very soon and also I want to build a new cargo line over here. So I have a forest over here and um, a sawmill over there and then I will use, the, use that to uh, well build another um, cargo line, probably to Kornwestheim, Denkendorf, Gerlingen and maybe even all the way to Ludwigsburg. So um, since this forest is right up on top of a hill, I'm going to use trucks to bring them down to the, to the sawmill. Um, but for the cargoes, for the goods that are produced there, I will use trains. So, uh, well, might take a while to do all that, but I'm confident. Phew, alright, that was much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Uh, because as you can see I've added not only uh, cargo cargo stations, one here, one there and one over there, um, but I also added two new passenger stations, <coughs> one over here and the second one right there. And then I, some, uh, I had to uh, somehow um, arrange all the tracks so that they, um, that the lines are going, are able to go everywhere they are, they should go. So now the cargo trains from there can go all the way over to this track right before that station. And well, that was, <coughs> well, that was not as easy as I thought. But well, I've done it anyway, so now there is only one thing left to do, and that is I somehow got two connected to Convestheim. Hmm, how will I do that? I know. I will simply build a tunnel there. Might be a bit expensive, but who cares? Oh, wait a second. My, right, I I want to be able to connect it to Ludwigsburg as well, right? Well, that's not going to happen if I build it this way. So maybe I'll have a truck connection uh, that transport the goods to Convest time and then I'll just um, build... I only built a train station over here. I don't know yet, I'll just leave it like this for the moment and uh, alright then I'll just need to build another road which will lead down that mountain. There we go, that looks like a nice road. Alright so now, uh, big truck station, no I'll just take a normal one. One there and another one right on top of here. Perfect. And then new lines. Alright, and there we have the locomotive I was talking about earlier. This one is hopefully going to solve some problems. So we are going to go to buy another one of those and then we'll see what happens whether I will still make money or what the balance will look like all right at least the production started so it does it realized that there is a line now 
All right, so currently I am losing a bit of money, but that's mostly due to the fact that I have a lot of train replacements at the moment. See, um, the game spent already 5.2 million credits on new vehicles. Uh, well, most of them were those nice new trains. Those ones which can carry around lots of passengers, 102. I don't even need that many. Besides, they are going around much faster than the previous trains I had there before, like this one, for example. This is an old one. This can go uh, 50 km per hour, and the other one can go at maximum speed of, I think, 90 km per hour. So that is a big improvement. And uh, that also makes me want to do something and that something is uh, to extend my line number one because I have a train station waiting here uh, to be used and that is going to happen because um, I will select that line number one or S1 as I called it and then I'm going to add stations after convest time it will go there to Dinkendorf oh wait a second Let's pause the simulation but um, it should go to the okay it can't find a way ah, I know what happened all right, all right, all right, all right, don't you worry, I got you covered. Um, yeah, because this needs to be placed. Ah, see, now we can go how I want it. And uh, let's add another one. Yeah, that doesn't work, I know, I know. So let's have it here maybe yeah let's have it there and uh, another one come on let's do it like this what collision where is it colliding what is going on ah there we go that's the problem see there we have it working perfectly what no I don't think so well good thing I'm <laughs> I paused the game because no, uh, otherwise my trains would go uh, completely crazy now. Let's see. No, that's not supposed to happen. <coughs> um, or well, on the other hand, this is this is not too bad actually. Because um, yeah, actually. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty promising. Uh, yep. We will have it like this. Yep. We will have it like the game supposes it. Um, looks pretty interesting anyway. So... Alright, that should do. And, uh, yeah. Do I want to add Galingen as well? Yes, why not? So, after Denkendorf, we will have Galingen as well. And then we'll stop again over here. Alright, so there we need to change something. Um, first of all, of course, it needs more signals just like that see already working as intended there I need to add another one and we should be good to go so let's see is it going where it's supposed to go here yes it is and then perfectly it's doing exactly exactly what I wanted to do is it? Yes, it is. Very nice. 
All right, so we have that. Um, nothing changed over here, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think we're good to launch everything again. Let's see what happened to the frequency. It says seven minutes now. Before it was at, I think, three minutes, which is uh, a very high frequency. Probably even too high for uh, trains, so it was a good thing that I actually uh, that I reduced that. All right, so now we even have the by far smallest town, which is Gerlingen, uh, connected to my train network. Let's see how many inhabitants does Gerlingen actually have. <laughs> 171. 160 shopping facilities, 170 jobs, and 164 leisure facilities. Let's compare to Stuttgart, which has 535 inhabitants, 496 shopping facilities, 398 jobs, and 632 leisure facilities. Wow! I want to see the stats right here again. I want to see the chart. Ooh, okay, it might be a bit hard to see, but look at the yellow line, which is uh, showing the leisure uh, possibilities, the leisure buildings, and there are a lot of them. And whoo, I got a lot of people waiting here. 216, okay, not that many now. Ah, yeah, and see, we are making money again. See, there were, there were those two years where I had insanely high costs for new vehicles with almost 5 million and there are even over 5 million uh, credits. But now I am back to a, a very positive total income of uh, 2.63 million at the moment and the year is only half. Uh, gone, so um, there will be much more money coming into my uh, budget. Um, interesting, there happened something that was not supposed to happen. Um, the game spontaneously decided to redirect this line, um, and I do not approve of that. Um, no, no, you don't go there, damn it. Uh, all right, so we will have another waypoint then. Yeah, there we go. What's so complicated about that? All right, everything's fine, just like that. I mean, why did it change anyway? I didn't. I didn't do anything, and uh, well, the game decided. Well, mm, mm, looks better like that, or mm, I don't know what. So, uh, well, I, I'm glad that I checked out uh, whether everything is okay, because sometimes, especially in this game, it's not. But well, it didn't cause any problems, because uh, there's only this one line going around so far, but if there were other uh, other lines uh, on those tracks, that might have caused some, uh, some issues. Okay, so everything is working fine over here, so... Uh, that is in fact a very good spot to leave this episode right here. So uh, I say thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, basically well, just do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video, until then have a good time and uh, bye bye!